Okay, so we're back. Uh, part two of this problem. You might remember we had this frame, right? Um, kind of a cantilever frame. We had on the section AB here, we had this nice horizontal load, probably like a wind load. And then on the cantilever part here at the top, there was a 10 kick load. Now the problem wanted to know the uh, displacement at this point C, uh, vertical displacement. So we went ahead and looked at it, and we found that we could write a single moment equation for AB. Uh, did that. And then we cut it here to BC, looked at just the cantilever side, the right side, and we wrote a moment expression for that. So we have our real moments, and uh, when we last talked, um, we had just set up the virtual system. So it's the same geometry, but now I'm applying my virtual load, which is unit load, one. And uh, at C, because that's why I want to know the displacement. And I'm assuming the force is down. So if I get a positive value, then I'm going to have uh, the C will move down. If I get a negative value, C will move up. So now I have to repeat these same processes. So once I've made a decision to cut the structure and, and use one side and assume a certain variable, I have to repeat that for the virtual system. You can't have different systems for the equation, different origins for the systems. So doing the real moment, I'm going to redraw the same free body that I had previously here. You might recall that at that cut, we called that a distance y1. This was 10 feet. And uh, out there on the end is where my virtual load is. And then I'm looking at the moment interior. So I assume this direction for my real moment, I assume the same direction for my virtual moment in AB. So it's very important that you use the same free body, uh, the same sign conditions throughout for each second. So now I can uh, sum the moments there. So summing the moments of this little cut section, right, using right hand rule for my sign convention, what do I get? Well, this moment is positive or negative? It is negative. The virtual load out here is creating what kind of moment about the cut? Also negative. It has a value of 1, and what's its moment arm? 10. You can see that's a pretty easy equation to solve. So the virtual moment in AB is simply going to be minus 10. So it has odd units, just called feet. Is that supposed to be AC? Or is that supposed to be AB? Oh, it's supposed to be AB. Why don't I get a C in there? Did I write it? I wrote a B there. Yeah, I just. Uh, hey, I got it right there. Come back. So again, looking at the next section, which would be here, sometime in BC, I made a cut and looked at the right-hand side. That's how I did my real moment. I'm going to do the same situation for the virtual moment. So just like before, I'm going to orient my coordinate from right to left, call it X1. On the end of the cantilever, I have my virtual load. And then internally, I assume this moment real, I'll assume the same direction for my virtual moment in BC. So again, I'll just sum moments. So we'll sum moments at the cut, assume right hand rule, make sure everything's in equilibrium. So what do I have? Well, my virtual moment is negative, according to my sign convention. And also, the virtual load is also creating negative moment about the cut. And have a distance of one, and I'm sorry, a force of one and a distance of x1. So my virtual moment in BC is going to be negative x1. So now I've got real moments and I've got virtual moments. All I have to do is match them up, right? So now I can come down here and say my displacement at C is going to be the integral of what? Well, from A to B, I'm going from 
here down, that's a distance of 20, so I'm going to go from 0 to 20. The real moment in AB, which is minus y1 squared over 4 minus 100, times the virtual moment in AB, which is minus 10, and that will be integrated dy1. So that takes care of the energy in the column AB. Where are you getting that 20 as your limit from? That's the, the length of the B. Oh, okay. If actually we're starting at the top at B and going down to A, either way, that's the length of 20. What about the EI? Oh, I forgot the EI. Let's, uh, let's just add it over here, make it easier for me. I'll multiply both sides by EI. Thank you. So then I have the beam portion, so we'll add to that. Now my beam section from B to C starts here at the right and goes to the left. That's a distance of 10. So I'll have an integral here from 0 to 10 of the real moment in BC, which is minus 10x1 times the virtual moment in the beam, which is minus x1. And we'll integrate that dx1. So for me on the exam, that's good enough. This would not be incredibly hard to do, um, these intervals. And they're both 0 to some limit, so that's not so bad. Uh, I didn't give you a value for e and i, so you have to just kind of leave it like this. But um, again, um, more than likely what I'll do on the exam is ask you to write this, and I'll just call it the virtual work equation. And if you have time, uh, you could uh, actually compute a numerical value, and this that could be a bonus. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. Traditionally, test two is a little more challenging than test one. So the bonuses are probably helpful. Yes? So between the real and the moment, you have to credit the exact same spot? Yes. They've got to match. If you don't, you can't, you can't form this integral, right? <coughs> if you pick a different coordinate for this moment than that moment, then you can't put them together as integrated dx1 if they're not both the x1 variable. So make sure the variables are the same. So how much more must I I don't know. It's a good question. I have to think about it. it depends on my mood, probably. Can we solve for the slope too? The slope at C? Say again? Can we solve for the slope at C? We can, but we don't have to. We have to uh, apply a virtual couple at C and redo all these and run another case. I, I may do that for you and put it online, but I'm going to go ahead and switch to the uh, SAT 2000 stuff and start doing that. Um, if you want, I'll hold on to this and maybe if we have time, we'll come back to it. Okay. Thank you.